script. Today we will continue uh, moving on with our series dolls. Um, we're up to series 34. Uh, 35 has uh, obviously just been released. Um, so we are catching up um, with uh, doing these videos. Uh, still loads to do uh, unfortunately. Um, but it is actually quite good fun. We are enjoying it. If you like the video, please subscribe and um, hit the bell icon and uh, click the like button or comment below on what you think. Um, always keen to uh, see what people like out there in the uh, Living Dead Dolls world. So. Um, as I say, this is uh, series 34. I will uh, go from my least favourite to my favourite doll as usual. And um, I will give rough prices uh, what I found them for on eBay and a couple of other different sites. Um, so uh, I will put a currency converter down the bottom as well uh, for anyone that's not in the UK. So um, we can go... Uh, go along with that. Um, you could probably find dolls a lot cheaper in your own particular region than what we do in the UK um, but hopefully you can. So what we'll do, uh, we will continue with uh, what my number five is. At number five I have picked Ashley. Now um, this particular wave was based on uh, something called the Wusson Hole, uh, which I do believe is in uh, Dakota in uh, the United States. Um, and I believe it was to do with, uh, they used to send their children down to the mines. Um, and there was a particular mine called uh, Devil's Vein, I do believe. Um, that collapsed and killed a lot of children uh, which is why um, they've released the, uh, the the theme is to do with Wusun Ho uh, which is why you've probably on the chipboard we've got the kind of almost like the ghostly image of each of the dolls um, so my f number five we'll go back to the doll uh, I've picked Ashley um, so obviously the theme is uh, the, the coal mines and things like that. So Ashley uh, is wearing uh, this lovely kind of, it's, it's like a white uh, apron um, that is, is quite periodic, maybe an old fashioned maid or something like that where it's, it's white down the front uh, and it's kind of tied at the back. Uh, now. It does have kind of stains down it. It's a bit grubby, so it's not a pure white. It's a kind of an off-white. Underneath this, um, she has a kind of a long uh, brown dress uh, with uh, polka dots, white polka dots on, um, which uh, obviously you can't see uh, very well on a sealed doll, but. Um, it, it's, it's all kind of going along the theme of browns and oranges, yellows and things like that. Um, her face is, uh, it's got lots of uh, kind of bruises on it and cuts, possibly from a cave-in from uh, uh, the, the mine, uh, with cuts on her head uh, and everything. And part of the face as well is where some of the bruises are, is kind of a little bit textured. Um, where it, obviously she's she's bruised and bumped her head. Um, she she has kind of yellowy, mesmerising, hypnotic eyes as well. So, um, but yeah, she's uh, she's uh, a lovely uh, doll. Uh, th this was a good wave, and it's always good when they bring something out that is kind of relevant to history. Um, going back that far. Now on eBay, uh, Ashley goes from 25 to 30 pounds open and 
35 to 55 pounds sealed, so she's obviously creeping up in value because um, obviously she's a, a, a few months to a year old now, so, so Ashley is my number five, so let's move on. At number four, uh, I have Soot. Now, she is a uh, clear doll, um, and she comes with red eyes. Um, but if you take her off the clothes, you will notice that part of it's not all clear, uh, because they've painted some black on her to represent the soot. Um, she does come with a kind of a, a nice big puffy kind of woolly jacket um, obviously to to keep her warm and underneath that um, she does have um, a long uh, kind of a dark dress uh, again going with the theme of dark uh, colours she also comes uh, with boots where a couple of the other ones come uh, as bare feet um, the the dress is uh, actually brown, but as I say, it's, it's very dark. It's a very dark doll. Um, on eBay, um, soot goes from twenty five to thirty pounds open, and between twenty five and thirty five pounds sealed. So not a lot of difference between opened and closed caskets, but you will notice that on uh, dolls that are from newer waves. So Soot is my number four. At number three, I have chosen Canary. Now, um, this pretty uh, little thing, uh, she looks a little uh, overdressed for uh, working in the mines. Um, her attire is kind of covered in black soot uh, and everything and she has black all over her hands maybe she was scraping to try and get out after the uh, cave had collapsed uh, the dress is a kind of a one piece um, yellow dress um, and she has a kind of a similar theme with her hair and her eyes kind of a yellowy uh, theme um, with her hair, um, I've seen pictures um, of her with uh, not in the box, and her hair looks absolutely fantastic. But within the box, they've, it looks like they've got uh, some tape around it to almost hold it in place, uh, or it's kind of like a plastic sleeve to slot over her head. So. It doesn't really let you appreciate the curls and the body of the hair. Um, she is, I'm just seeing if she is, she does actually come with boots as well. Um, so overall um, the, the face paint is kind of quite basic apart, I mean obviously she's got black all around her face and the kind of just plain yellow eyes uh, like a lost soul. Now, um, on eBay, uh, she goes from 25 to 30 pounds uh, open and 25 to 35 pounds sealed. So, uh, well worth getting. Very, very lovely doll. And uh, I think uh, if you take her out of the box uh, and uh, you, you see the real benefit of the hair, she probably looks even better. Uh, than, than being trapped in a casket like mine are so uh, she is uh, number three so we'll move on at number two I have picked um, Colette or Colette um, she seems um, quite clean compared with the, the other children that have been in the mines uh, which is a little bit uh, unusual. I have done a video on uh, uh, black eyed children um, and she looks like um, one of the images from from that which uh, I think is why 
I, I like this doll and she's so far up the list. Um, she, like um, the one of the other dolls, uh, comes with a um, a kind of a, an apron on, a very periodic apron, uh, which it does have some dark, slight, slight staining on the um, uh, on the uh, apron, but not like um, coal stains. Uh, could be like. Uh, maybe mascara or, or something like that. Um, underneath uh, she has this lovely kind of grey, light grey dress with white flower print on it. Uh, very, very periodic uh, for the time I think. Um, as mentioned she is a black eyed doll um, and if you look very carefully she has kind of slight streaks where maybe she's been crying and uh, and that which is probably what's gone down onto the uh, apron itself um, and she comes with this lovely black haunting hair uh, and black lipstick as well um, I saw one uh, review video uh, that said that the promo version of her had blonde hair uh, which I really don't think would look look right. I think that the black, the dark, uh, the white skin and the black uh, makeup and the black hair uh, makes a, a, a very haunting doll. Um, so uh, she is uh, obviously my number two. Uh, so uh, on eBay she goes from 25 to 30 pounds open and 25 to 30 pounds sealed so uh, she is um, kind of uh, not that much difference in price um, not sure whether she just wasn't very popular or or not I'm I'm not sure so she is my number two so at number one I have got this young lad Tommy Knocker now, um, I think what I really liked about this doll is he reminded me of a kind of a old fashioned, uh, maybe Victorian time where they used to have the children uh, go and clean the chimneys in London and uh, kind of little uh, maybe Mary Poppins um, uh, type thing with the chimney sweeps, um, which uh, yeah, it, it, that, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, he has got some trousers uh, which are kind of down to the knees, which are kind of ragged where they've been cut. Uh, so very scruffy, kind of like a street urchin, uh, which I think is one of the terms from the, the film Mary Poppins. Um, he, like a couple of the others, comes with this lovely, kind of big, thick, kind of uh, woolly... Um, type jacket um, which uh, obviously keeps him warm down in the mines. Um, underneath he does come with this uh, kind of a shirt, a uh, white shirt with buttons on it but uh, as some of the others um, he is covered in soot uh, from the mine. Uh, all his fingers are covered um, as well. Uh, Tommy also comes with this uh, this lovely kind of hat and I think that's what may, really made it periodic kind of um, for me thinking of, of the, the days gone by where they, they had them as the chimney sweeps. Uh, he is an open mouth doll so he is a screaming doll and uh, you can see just the bottom row of his teeth. Uh, his face is all grubby uh, with the soot and I do believe he's got black eyes as well. Uh, it's hard to see uh, in this light. Um, so he is uh, a very eerie periodic doll which uh, really fitted in with this series. Um, on eBay he goes from 25 to 30 pounds. Um, open and 25 to 30 pounds sealed so again just like 
this one um, it, there's not there's no difference at all in prices but these are one of the newer waves that have come out uh, so he is my favorite um, there was something else um, that uh, within some of the coffins not all the coffins uh, there was like a, a chase uh, item um, and it was a little gold nugget uh, that had a sulfur symbol on it uh, from what I understand it wasn't in every doll um, so um, you may buy a set of dolls and not find one piece uh, I'm not sure uh, what ratio these little gold nuggets were um, but they are out there um, now I've found out about it um, I will uh, try and uh, possibly get one uh, for my collection um, so it, it's so I've got a bit of everything uh, from a living dead dolls scenario so if you've liked this video please like subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, comment below on what you think of uh, series 34 and um, look up uh, Wusson Hole uh, and see how horrific it really was back in the day. As for me, I bid you a good day.